Okay, it's time to get in and start looking at who won these game awards. It's been a good year for games in 2020. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of diverse winners here across the spectrum. Let's see, best audio design. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot of options here. We have Doom Eternal's fantastic soundtrack. We've got Ghost of Tsushima's a wonderful cadence with the, the way Last that its sound design two. is. And we have, oh! Oh, oh, it's The Last of Us. Part two. Oh, you know, that's fine, that's fine. The Last of Us Part Two had good sound design. Uh, very, very well done. You know what, okay, okay, that's fine. A strong start. Best narrative. Oh, this is a tough one. Going up Final Fantasy VII Remake. Ghost of Tsushima with its honor-based story. Hades with its deep character. Oh, no, no, oh. Two. Oh. It's gonna be the... The Last of Us Part Two. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I had a very experimental narrative. Very good. I personally found it very fulfilling thematically. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's probably all. It's, I mean, that's probably all it's gonna get. We're gonna see, you know, other winners tonight, probably. Best performance. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. My boy Logan Cunningham. Now I love Ashley Johnson and Laura Bailey, but my boy Logan Cunningham. Logan Cunningham is just credited here as Hades, but. Yo, he played Hades, he played Poseidon, Achilles, Charon, Asterius with amazing range. You wouldn't even know it's the same guy unless you listen very closely. So he has got to win. Laura Bailey as Abby, The Last of Us Part 2. Oh. Oh, it's just, you know, it's Laura Bailey. Um, sure, sure, you know, you know Laura did great. Laura did great, great, great. Uh, I'm sure the next time that Logan Cunningham plays, you know, five different characters very distinctly across different ranges in a singular game that is well noted for its voice acting that he'll win then, sure. Best family game, oh, 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 that's the the last of us that won that, oh, okay. Best action adventure, oh, clearly Ghost of Tsushima has to do that with his wife, oh, 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 it's the, the, the last of us. Best sports racing game, the, the, the last of us, I, it had a car. Best eSports host, Abby from The Last of Us. Innovation in accessibility, clearly. The Last of Us, actually, you know what? This one makes sense. They actually did a really good job here. Credit where credit is due. Content creator of the year, Valcrast of Us. Okay, we getting up to the big boys though. We getting up to the big boys. Clearly, clearly The Last of Us has won a lot so far. It's fine. Surely, surely as we approach game direction, one of the most important awards in my opinion, there have to be some other contenders. On the one hand, you have Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is attempting to completely redefine what it means to be a remake of a classic game. You have Ghost of Tsushima, which is trying to be the pinnacle of open world exploration. And you have Hades, which is also trying to redefine the roguelite genre with its narrative focus. Out of all of these, one of these has to pull ahead and become the absolute winner of the best game. The oh. Last of Us Part Two. Oh, it's The Last of Us. How is it The Last of Us? Sure, the narrative had a lot of interesting experiments in it, but like, what? it's the same game as The Last of Us Part 1, except for 2. You do crafting, you do sneaking, you do shooting, and then you go and you have morally gray endings. Best game direction, The Last of Us. That's okay, we've made it this far and we're at the Game of the Year Award. Now clearly, the Game Awards are masters of tension. They know The Last of Us has been winning. They know The Last of Us has been taking home those awards. But now, they're gonna pull the rug out from under our feet. They're gonna have a dark horse come from behind, an underdog race from the deeps. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, even Animal Crossing. One of these is definitely gonna- Well, that sounded fantastic. And now, the Game of the Year Award goes to The Last of Us Part Two. Huh. Okay, well, at least we probably have some news about Elden Ring somewhere tonight.